Get out of the situation. Hi, I'm T. Kent Nelson. I'm with Cutting Edge Defensive Tactics. In this tactical training video clip, we're going to address a worst case scenario situation, an almost no win situation, where we're going to have the officer on his back being repeatedly kicked and stomped by suspects. We'd like to stress that we always use the proper safety equipment when we do these drills, and that again, we're not teaching specific techniques, but we're teaching methods of training, stress inoculation, fear control, gross motor movement, and learning to switch your mindset from defensive to offensive from becoming a victim to becoming proactive to your own survival. So in this drill, what we're gonna do is we're gonna utilize all those pieces that we learned before. He's gonna try his framing, he's gonna work to his get up, he's gonna do his survival drill, but he's gonna take it from the worst case scenario. He's on the ground, he's getting stomped and kicked. He's found himself in a bad situation, and now he's really gotta survive the situation. First, we're gonna have him take a few kicks, because we want him in a defensive mindset. And then we're gonna have him get to his feet, so that he has to train himself to switch his brain over from defensive to offensive. So it is definitely a form of stress inoculation. It is definitely a form of fear control and gross motor movement. I'd also like to stress that in all these drills we've been doing, that we're also wearing the proper safety equipment. I've got hand pads on, I've got shin and instep pads on here for when we kick off Sir Swanbeck, he's safe. Everybody's wearing groin protection. I have padding on underneath my jeans and sweatshirt. He's wearing his trauma plate. And he's also, by the way, wearing a uniform that's uh, we don't mind tearing up a little bit. So are you ready to get the hell kicked out of you? Sure. All right, let's do it. All right, survive. Stop, get up. Okay, now the slight change we're gonna make to this drill now is we're gonna take it where he's in a fight situation, not just with kicking. Him and I are on the ground, I'm the suspect, I'm giving him the whale, he's trying to survive, he's using his shrimping, excuse me, he's using his framing, he's using his scooting, and he's trying to get back up to his feet, but he also has to deal with my buddy now who's coming in and he's throwing the kicks in as well. This is where we want to look towards strategy instead of looking towards specific techniques like you might see in jujitsu or judo or some kind of martial art. The problem there is that in a jujitsu situation, he would be focusing solely on me and his buddy's going to come up and start kicking his head in. And so that's not good. So he needs more of a strategy type mindset. He needs to get up and get out of the situation. Not worry about an arm bar or a choke or anything like that. You ready? Alright. Alright, same drill. One more time, just from a different position. You ready? Right. Once again, with a drill like this, you can see when you're done, you're huffing and puffing, you might take a little bit of contact, but once again, you know, there's no such thing as a safe life or death defense situation. And the bottom line is, if you want to live through it on the street, you got to train like you want to live through it on the street. We always use safety gear, we're always very safe with each other with our training partners to make sure nobody gets hurt, but you have to address it uh, with the mindset that you are training to save your life. Thank you.